Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Dungan Rompa. Last episode, we saw what people are willing to do to get out of this school. We actually saw it twice, but the first one was the reason why we're about to have a class trial right now. I told you guys if you want me to continue this series, we're gonna have to hit 50,000 likes. And of course you guys yes, hit 50,000 likes, so thank you guys so much for that. I'm gonna keep churning out these episodes if these videos can keep hitting 50,000 likes. So show your support, please. But we're about to jump into this right now. If you guys cool with that, you down with that everybody get ready and buckle up because here we go okay like i said when we last left off junko had about five poles right in her rib cage that sucks the biggest balls right now i think we're gonna talk to our people kyoko said hold on huh before we begin the investigation isn't there something else we need to discuss oh yeah what is that oh junko's dead lifeless body yeah sure that's something we could talk about i gently placed my hand on junko's lifeless body I touched her wrist to check for a pulse, like they do in movies and stuff. You check for a pulse? You don't see all those poles impaling her damn body? What's wrong with Makoto, man? She really is dead. Nah, you think? There wasn't anything else to say. She was gone. I don't know why you even bothered to check. After those injuries and losing that much blood? Frankly, I'd be shocked if she did survive something like that. Uh-huh. Hold on. Hold on. Just wait a second. She's dead? That means... That means everything that's happened so far is real? It's not a joke or whatever? It's really real? Hell no! Someone save me! Let me out of here! Somebody help me! What's your problem? You're just now accepting that? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> so you finally noticed. Huh? Noticed what? <laughs> I was looking through the Monokuma file we received. And I noticed something very obvious and very unusual. Huh? huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> Go ahead, take a look. Notice anything interesting about where Sayaka died? She died in Makoto's dorm. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, I didn't sleep there. I didn't do anything there. Makoto was doing his thing in the other room. Ah. Everybody chill out! Whoa, what? She's right. <laughs> then could it be? All at once, everyone's gaze turned to me. Oh, hold on a second. You've got it all wrong. For just one night, I traded rooms with her. I did it because she was afraid. You expect us to b believe that? Just tell us the truth. The look in everyone's eyes had done a complete 180 from just a few minutes earlier. The feeling of suspicion and fear had returned. In other words, you think I did it? So done. Are we all done talking? We need to begin our investigation soon. At this point, we should split up. We need to get to the bottom of this and find out who killed Sayaka. We'll have to collect clues to form a foundation, then construct an argument to come to a final decision. If we get this wrong, so... well, do I really have to say any more? Yes, we all die! Everyone pray for good luck. With that, Kyoko hurried out of the gym. Goodbye. I'll be going too. And just like Kyoko, he was gone before we realized it. Yo. Oh yeah, I'm on guard duty, huh? I better head to the scene of the crime. Mm. Oh, that's right. Hey, damn it. Let me just say this right now. If whatever son of a bitch did this is here right now and they're thinking of destroying that evidence, they'd better dead. not let me find him! I'll skip the trial and cave their goddamn skull in myself! I'm serious! I will F them up! Letting his deadly words hang in the air, he and Sakura ran off. So, but, uh, I mean, we're not detectives or anything, you know? And we're gonna investigate a murder- Hey, I've been playing a bunch of Phoenix, right? I know what I'm doing, okay? Arrgh. How do we even do something like that? Anyway. We don't really have to do anything in particular. We already know who killed Sayaka. What are you implying? This it was you. Very... I'm telling you, it wasn't me! <laughs> don't come any closer! Are you gonna kill me next? So... Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to give it a shot. I'm not for sure that Makoto's guilty yet. That's um... true. We may as well at least check just to check. <laughs> Even if I wanted to, I couldn't help and investigate. Huh. Wait, why not? I'm not too good with b b blood. All it takes is one glimpse and I black out. Oh, yeah? Well, whatever. I don't think anyone is expecting much from you anyway. Damn, Leon, it's cold. All right, I guess I better get going. Wait, don't go yet. You have to hear me out. But it was pointless. Everyone had already left. And their parting looks at me had still been filled with suspicion. Does everyone really think I'm the killer? How did it turn out like this? Seriously, they've got it all wrong. Why do they have to suspect me? I have to do something. Otherwise, everyone will. Execution is... Execution. 
Execution. We know what execution is. We know how many syllables the word has, Electric Monokuma. <laughs> Poison gas. <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane. Got it. I can't let that happen. I can't let things turn out the way Monokuma wants. All I have to do is find out who really did it. Who really killed Sayaka. We're going to find that out right now. Like I told you, I've been playing a bunch of Phoenix right. I got this. I guess I should look through the Monokuma file we got before. The victim was Sayaka Maizono. The time of death is estimated to be around 1.30 a.m. The body was discovered in Makoto's room in the dormitory. All evidence suggests that the death took place in the bathroom. The cause of death was a stab wound to the abdomen. There was also an injury to her right wrist. Specifically, the wrist appears to have suffered a fracture. We have no choice but to push forward if we want to find out what happened. Somehow I have to find out the truth so that we can all survive. And for Sayaka, I have to find out how she was killed! Monokumo file number one has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Okay, can we check it one more time for the one time? What's truth bullets? Review evidence and witness accounts you've made record of? Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Well, I'm good off that. Let's question these people right now. Nobody's safe. Aren't you going to help investigate your hero? Um... But I can't leave Junko here. I feel sorry for her. I have to stay with her. Okay, whatever. What about you, Mr. Sloppy Toppy Hair? Ah, uh, no way. I seriously don't want to die here. I'm begging you, God, Buddha, Mother Earth, God of Space, King Neptune, help me! I don't care who it is, just get me out of here! Hero doesn't seem prepared to do any kind of investigating right now. Well, I don't blame him. Leave the gym? Yes. What if Sayaka did it herself? What if she ended her own life? I don't know, I'm just saying, guys, because she's the only one who could open the bathroom. Makoto, Siaka, and Monokuma are the only three people who knew how the bathroom worked. Somehow, when we found Siaka's body, the bathroom door was opened, and they were the only three people who knew how to do it. See? My Phoenix Wright senses are tingling! Inside the display case are trophies and other items. Okay, let's leave the area. And I don't really know where to investigate right now. First of all, I should head to the scene of the crime, my room. We won't make any progress without investigating there. But isn't, um, uh, Mondo and Sakura over there? So I headed to my room where Sayaka's corpse still remained. That sucks. That's really disturbing. I'd better examine the state of my room a little closer. That might reveal something new. Well, there's a bunch of scratch marks on the ground. This game's actually getting really cool. I like investigating stuff like this. There are scratches and gouges on my walls and bed. Is that evidence of a struggle? Yeah, I mean, of course. You would assume so, right? It looks like there must have been some kind of fight in my room. Damn it. I was right there in the other room. If only I'd heard something. Wait. That would not have been possible. Huh? huh? Don't you remember? All of our rooms are completely soundproof. So something could happen in the room right next to you, and there's no way you could know. Well, perhaps this was another of Monokuma's strategies, creating an ideal setting for murder. Evidence of a struggle has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Okay, what about the blade? Wait, whoever did it, they must have gold hands because the katana was like spray painted in gold or something, right? So we gotta check everybody's hands. This is the replica sword I brought back for self-defense. Does this mean it was used in the attack somehow? But it's not bloody though. And plus, it's been taken out of its sheet. I hadn't actually looked at the blade itself till now. I shouldn't be surprised it's coated in gold too. On top of that, some of the gold coating has come off of parts of the blade and the handle. Yeah, the handle especially is missing a lot of its coating. I remember the coating sticks to you even if you just touch it a little bit. Replica sword has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. And add the fact that the gold sticks to your hands even by touching it just a little bit. You know, just a, just a smidge. There's a key on the ground. It has my name on it, so this must be my room key. If I remember correctly. Ah, oh, that's right. We'll have to trade keys. So she left her key right there on the ground? When we switch rooms, we switch keys too. So Sayaka would have had the key here in my room the entire time. But wait, if that's true then, how did the killer get into the room in the first place? Could Sayaka have forgotten to lock the door? No, that seems impossible. The same goes for you, Sayaka. No matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. Even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? That's true. After saying that, there's no way she would have had forgotten to lock it or opened it for any reason. Well, maybe she dropped the key somewhere and someone else grabbed it or something? That's stupid. No, that's not possible either. Siaka was in here when we switched rooms. 
and with how scared she was, she wouldn't have gone walking around. So she couldn't have dropped it. So how did the killer... Switching rooms has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Okay, you know what? Let me check this drawer right here. Let me see if anything's missing. The toolkit is still inside the drawer. I don't see any evidence that it's been used at all. Which makes sense, I guess. I mean, it's mine, and I haven't had any reason to open it. I can't even imagine a situation where I'd need a toolkit like this. Yo. Yeah, seriously. Oh, Mondo. Why? We ain't exactly in the mood to be Why? building effing furniture, right? So you haven't used yours either, then? Why? Not just me. Nobody's Why? busted theirs out yet, far as I know. Actually, we were talking about it yesterday. By the way. None of the guys have opened their toolkits yet. Because, like, why the hell would we? Toolkit has been added to the truth bullets. Okay, we got that. The camera is knocked down. Huh? Looking at the lint roller. Oh, it's the lint roller. It looks like there's way less than there was before. Did Sayaka see how dirty my room was and decided to clean up a little? Yeah, but it just cleans up lint. Like, if you get dog fur on you. Like, I have dogs at home. And if they get fur on me, I use the hell out of my lint roller. I'm just like... There are gouges in the bed like someone attacked it. What the hell happened here? But why is there no blood anywhere? Sakura, do you think I'm guilty too? Hey. I try not to make assumptions like that. I simply don't know whether or not you did this. Mm. Whatever decision the rest of you come up with, I will follow your lead. I see. Yes, now I realize that you have no brain to come up with your own conclusions. I'm trying to examine the table with your big ass deltoids. God damn, try to click on the table, ended up clicking on her biceps. Hey, Kyoko. I quietly called her name while she was investigating the area. But... But what? What are you but doing? why? Isn't it obvious? N no. Not really. I'm searching. Searching? She was down on her knees, carefully inspecting every inch of my room. Did you lose a contact or something? I don't know what she's doing exactly, but she seems to be concentrating pretty hard on it. She's probably looking at the scratches. But a few seconds later, she suddenly stood up straight and said, Listen. Are you a clean freak? Huh? No, I don't think so, but what? Nodding, she glanced around my room one more time. I see. Interesting. What's interesting? Hey. Just as I suspected, there's something very unusual about your room. Okay, let's click on that action. Unusual, what do you mean? So... I've searched your floor from one corner to another, and I didn't find one single strand of hair. Really? Oh, so that's probably what they used the lint roller for to make sure there was no, like, hair follicles. Indeed. Not one hair from the victim, and not one hair from you, even though you've been living in here. You know, now that you mention it, I noticed something while I was looking around before. It looked like the lint roller in my room had been used, but I never touched it. Could someone have used it to... I see. Very interesting. Your room didn't have a single hair in it, and someone used your lint roller without your knowledge. In other words, someone other than you came in and scrubbed your room clean. Was it Sayaka or the killer? Well... That's the question, isn't it? Makoto's room cleanliness has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Can I go inside the room? Let me go inside the damn bathroom! I should look around here first. I can check other spots later. Okay... Alright, let's um, highlight everything. Holy shit, there's actually a lot of stuff to highlight. Okay, the sheath? This is the replica sword I brought back for self-defense. Wait, what? No, it's just the sheath, right? Okay, wait. There's some scratches on the sheath. They must have been made with something sharp. But how did the sheath get scratched up in the first place? Even if someone used the sword during the struggle, it doesn't make sense for the sheath to be damaged. I mean, if you're going to attack someone with a sword, the first thing you do is unsheath it. A heavy sheath like this would only get in the way. It could just slide off in the middle of the fight. So why are the scratches on the sheath? Maybe because Sayaka had the sheath and she was trying to stop herself from getting stabbed, so she was, like, holding herself like this? Replica sword sheath has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook, right? That's the only reason why there would be scratch marks on it. But let's see what else we haven't clicked on. Um, what about the door? I should check the room first of all. Oh, duh. Okay, camera? A surveillance camera. The mastermind must be using them to keep an eye on everything that's happening here. They don't do anything to stop what's happening, they just keep on watching. You know, I realized something while I was on guard duty. The killer could have already destroyed some evidence, right? Before anyone found the body, I mean. There's a trash room here in the dorms, right? They could have tossed some stuff in there. Yeah, that's definitely possible. You son that of dirty bitch. bastard! Anyone who raises their hand to a woman is scum that deserves death. That's what my brother taught me. So if I ever dead. find the son of a bitch that did this, I'm gonna pound his goddamn face in! But what if it was a girl that did it? Yo. That'll all get sorted out when the time comes. I <laughs> had to think about that one real quick. 
Alright, let's talk to Sakura. Sakura, do you think I'm guilty too? Hey. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, your big ass deltoids make the choice for you. Okay, are we good here? Can I check the other room, please? The bathroom. And on the other side of this door. Yes, I know. I don't want to be looking at that. No, I can't let it get to me. I can't afford to freeze up now. Forcing myself to push my panic down, I stepped into the bathroom. Damn. If you're sensitive to these kinds of things, guys, just cover your eyes and just listen to my voice. Looking at her made it painfully clear it wasn't a dream or an illusion. She had lost everything that made her her. Sayaka. All at once, I was overcome with dizziness, nausea, the urge to burst into tears. But I can't. I can't hesitate now. Why? Why did Sayaka have to die? I have to uncover the truth. I have to find out what happened. I wanted to give up. I wanted to collapse. But that thought held me up and supported me. Okay, let's investigate this. There's only two things to investigate, huh? Okay, the stab wound and the letters on the side. I looked past Sayaka to the wall behind her. And there I saw... What? Written in blood were the numbers 11037. Oh, those are numbers? I thought that said, like, Joel or something, like Noel. Did Sayaka do this? Uh, I don't think so. Unless there's, like, some blood on her hands. You know, so she could write it in blood. I told myself I simply couldn't face what I saw, but... But now's no time to think like that. I pulled out the Monokuma file to verify what it said about her body. Some sort of sharp object had been thrust into her stomach. That must have been the killing blow. But whatever they used to kill her, where'd they get it? That's definitely something I should look into later. Also, according to the Monokuma file, Sayaka's right wrist is broken. Her wrist does look swollen and bloody, that's for sure. But there's something sort of glittery there on her wrist too. Right there, where her wrist is all swollen, there's something glittery. That definitely concerns me. It's the gold from the sword, right? Another thing that concerns me is... Huh? There's some blood on her left index finger, but that's it. The palms of both of her hands are totally spotless, so how come only her left finger? Maybe she did write the numbers in blood. Sayaka's wrist has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. The stab wound in her stomach is what killed her, so when she broke her wrist, that must have happened earlier on. I mean, how would her wrist get broken after she'd already been killed? So it's very possible she broke her wrist during the struggle. The killer attacked Sayaka in the main room, which is when her wrist got broken. After that, the killer cornered her in the bathroom, where they inflicted the deadly wound. Hmm. Okay, is that it? Can we not click on anything else here? I'm pretty sure we can, right? Yeah, okay. So, we looked at everything we need to look at. Let's get out of here. It looks like you found it, right, Makoto? The bloody numbers? That's most likely Siaka's dying message. Yes, let's uh, talk about the bloody numbers. I've never seen something written in blood before. It really was her final message. It's as if she wrote it with life itself. Right. Do you often talk like an aspiring poet? But the numbers she wrote, what do they mean? 11037, I have no idea what could possibly mean. You know what, let me... Maybe she wrote the numbers upside down, so I'm trying to look. Leo... Leo? No, never mind. So... The way she wrote the numbers makes it think she wanted to use her body to block them. If she wrote them in that location while she was sitting the way we found her, it means she wrote them by turning only her hand towards the wall. If you were to write something in that position, do you know what the result would be? Yeah, you would write it upside down, right? Well. Or backwards? You're not going to tell me? Makoto. You need to uncover the mystery of this case yourself. Otherwise, the case will end and you'll remain unconvinced. I have no idea what you're trying to say, but it's obvious you're not going to tell me. Dying message has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. It sounds like Kyoko knows what Siaka's dying message means, but honestly, I have no idea. Oh, I know I should talk to. When it comes to numbers, who better to ask than the ultimate programmer? Makoto. There's one other thing I want to ask you. Do you know how the door to your bathroom got broken? Broken? Oh, you mean how it got stuck? What? Get stuck? Yeah, I guess I'm the only one, but the door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. When I first tried to use it, I thought it was just locked. But once you learn the trick, it opens no problem. Bathroom door frame has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Correct. So the door doesn't quite fit the frame, huh? But actually, I'm referring to the broken doorknob. Huh? The doorknob? That's right. You didn't notice? Well, just try closing the bathroom door. I'm sure you'll see right away what I'm talking about. I did what Kyoko said and shut the bathroom door. Huh? The doorknob? What about it? What about it? What about it? Tell me! How are you going to leave me in suspense? What the heck? The doorknob is practically about to fall off. Why is it like this? Someone must have used a screwdriver or something similar to unscrew it. Whatever it was, it's obvious this was intentional. What? It was intentional? Why would someone want to do that? 
so... I guess maybe they were trying to get the door unlocked and ended up breaking the whole thing. But my bathroom doesn't have a lock on it. Only the girls' bathrooms can lock, right? She stood there for a while, lost in thought. Maybe the killer didn't know that the bathroom didn't have a lock. And when it got stuck, they assumed that it was locked. So they tried unscrewing the doorknob. That's why it's so unhinged. Then apparently, struck with a sudden realization, she shot a question at me. Just a second. I have just one more question for you. You mentioned earlier that your bathroom door would get stuck, right? Did you tell anyone about that? Oh, um, well, I did tell Sayaka about it last night when we switched rooms. So what you're saying is only you and Sayaka knew about it. Mm -hmm. hmm, interesting. She had the slightest hint of a smirk on her face. I got the sense she was really starting to get into all this. I see. Then that clears that up. Huh? What clears what up? I'm so lost. Goodbye. Well, see you later. You know what? If we're all on the same team, we're not allowed to keep secrets, okay, Kyoko? As if forgetting I was ever there, she suddenly turned and left the room. Bathroom doorknob has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. I still don't really understand any of this, but I've already given my room a good once over. Maybe I should look around somewhere else. I should start looking into where the murder weapon might have come from. And also, I should look into the DVD Sayaka got. With Sayaka dead, I have no choice but to see for myself what was in that video. And on top of that, I'm sure there are some other areas worth checking out too. Maybe I should see what everyone else thinks. If they'll even talk to me, that is. Okay, before we do any of that, let me check the notes that I got. Because I want to see the note written in blood. Because if she wrote it backwards, like if she was facing the wall, like how I'm facing you guys right now, and she was writing it upside down, what does that mean? Okay, let's talk to this four-eyed freak real quick. I think Byakuya is going to be helpful in this investigation. Very he just looks strange. like it. So why was Sayaka in your room when she was killed? Could it be because you are the culprit? No, you've got it all wrong. Sayaka and I switched rooms last night. He didn't even try to hide the suspicion on his face. Hm. Even if what you say is the absolute truth, you're still responsible for her death, wouldn't you say? Hell no! Hm. After all, she wouldn't have died if she hadn't switched rooms with you, right? <laughs> the reason Sayaka was killed is because I suggested we switch rooms? She's dead because of me? Then it should have been me that died? <laughs> well, all we can say right now is that it's a possibility. Th that's... If that's true, then... No, nah, dude, he's just trying to get into your head. I gotta talk to the ultimate programmer, right? Is it him? Is it my guy? Mm hmm, hmm, hmm. Very strange. Mr. Naegi, what was Miss Maizono doing in your room? Let me just say this. Most I absolutely will not allow you to dispose of any evidence in that trash room. Do you really think I'm guilty? They all think I'm guilty. That's really cute. Like, that's really, really cute. I'm gonna find the trash room real quick, and then I'm gonna see what's on Sayaka's DVD. So let's check here real quick. Because maybe we're gonna find like a strand of hair or something. Anything. And nobody else is in here with me. So that's cute. Wait, there's a hatch on the floor. I don't have the lock for this thing. The door won't budge, it must be locked. How do I go in the trash room? There's a sturdy gate here, no way to get past. Uh-oh. It's the end of the line! The trash room. This is where all the trash in the school eventually winds up. How do you get this gate open? No, no, you can't go No, 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 no entry beyond this point. Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in. Cleaning duty? No, no, you no, can't no, no, no entry beyond this point. Okay, we know. Who's on cleaning no, duty? No, no, you can't go any further. Okay, this is stupid. It'd be faster to just go around and ask the others. No, no, you can't go Oh my god, shut up! Cleaning duty has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. I'm sorry, guys. I apologize for that. I need to calm down. I need to calm my candy tits down. We're gonna go to the AB room and we're gonna see what's on Siaka's tape. Nobody trusts me at all. They all think I'm guilty. They want me to get executed. I know it deep down in my soul. Wait, maybe she got stabbed with a knife from the cafeteria. Yeah. I don't know. Because where else would somebody get the knife? Let me talk to old poopy swirl hair right here. Hina, are you investigating the dining hall? Oh, no, I'm just taking a break. Actually, I've been taking a break since we started. Oh, lazy ass? This is all a first for me, you know? I don't have the first clue what I should be doing. I know what you mean. <laughs> and I don't know why, but being in the dining hall helps me keep calm. So I know I shouldn't, but I've just been kind of hanging around here. To tell the truth, I was doing the same thing last night when Sayaka was killed. Okay, what can we investigate here? It's not really much, but let's check this out. Oh, we can actually go in here. <gasps> so we can actually see the kitchen knife. One's missing! Look! I'm Phoenix Wright! I'm Phoenix Wright! There are all kinds of kitchen knives here, big to small, but 
It looks like one of the. Oh my god, bro! Oh my god, bro! I'm that dude. This is why I'm that dude. Was it missing from the very beginning, or I'd better see if anyone here knows more about it? Kitchen knife set has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Let's freaking go. Like, come on. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Why can't I examine these fruits and vegetables? There's a bunch of vegetables all piled up. I don't see anything noteworthy about any of it. Oh, I got a coin, though. Hey, let's get it, boy. Okay, let's ask Aoi. Is that her name? Aoi? Like, well, you know when you get hurt and you're a kid and you're like, Aoi! Is that how you pronounce her name? Hey, so did you notice that one of the kitchen knives is missing from the dining hall? Yeah, totally. Yeah, weird, huh? I thought it was kind of strange. A knife just suddenly disappearing like that? Yeah, disappearing and then ending up in Sayaka's stomach? Oh, so it wasn't missing from the beginning? That's right. Nope. Last I remember, they were all lined up in a nice, neat row. So when did you notice one of them had disappeared? Well... Well, I went to go get some tea from the kitchen last night, and all the knives were still there. But when I finished my tea and went back into the kitchen to wash my glass, one of the knives was gone. So you're saying the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining hall? Mm. Yeah. In other words, you were right there in the dining hall when someone came and took it. Or it could have been her. She's just making the tea excuse, and she's the one who took the knife. Oh, we got the tea right now. We got the tea right here, folks! Then you should be able to say for sure. You can tell everyone I didn't come to the dining hall last night, which proves I didn't take it. Yeah, we got a witness. Aoi's account has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Um... Hey, by the way... Did you really kill Sayaka? What? Of course not! I would never! Hina, do you really think I murdered her? I mean, well, she was killed in your room, right? So, I mean, you guys were supposed to be friends, right? But you still killed her. On the other hand, two people becoming good friends, then one killing the other is a classic drama setup. So when you consider everything together, I honestly have no idea. Why would she ask me if I killed her? And even if I did kill her, why would I tell her? Let me talk to this guy first before I go into the AB room. Cleaning duty, eh? As a matter of fact, Bonokuma came and talked to me yesterday morning. Really? Listen to he me. probably realized I was basically in charge, so he decided to talk to me directly. The topic of conversation was assigning cleaning duty. Oh, so you're on cleaning duty now? That's wrong. Actually, no. Huh? Okay, then who is? <laughs> Hifumi was also there when we had this conversation. He volunteered right away, so I let him have it. So he's on cleaning duty then. Count on Indeed, it. but we'll swap out on a weekly basis. I'm sure you'll be up before too long. Got it. And when that time comes, I'll be counting on you! Oh, so we gotta talk to Hifumi later. But before we talk to Hifumi, we got some business that we gotta handle inside of the AV room right now. I don't know what's on her tape, but maybe it's disturbing enough that she knew she was gonna get killed. So let's check the box. There's nothing inside. Oh, do I have Sayaka's DVD? It's a DVD player. Wait, do I not have her DVD? You know what? I think Sayaka's DVD is still in her room, so I gotta go back and get it. Wait, can I even go inside of her room? Huh? This is definitely my room, but the nameplate has Sayaka's name on it. Wait, so I go here. Huh? This is Sayaka's room, right? But the nameplate has my name on it. The nameplate of my room and Sayaka's room were switched? So all that effort I put into switching rooms without anyone knowing was totally pointless. But why would anyone do that? Dorm nameplates has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. I didn't even notice that. That's weird. Okay, let me in. Is Siaka's DVD in here? It better be. Or else... Oh yeah, it is. It's inside of the trash can. There can only be one thing in the trash can. Yup, the DVD with Siaka's name on it. Siaka got really upset after seeing whatever was in that video. I wonder, what did she see? It might not be directly related to the case, but it might be worth checking out anyway. I'm sorry, Siaka. I need to borrow this DVD. Don't worry, she's not gonna fight you for it. I'm kidding, guys! I'm not messed up like that, am I? I might be. I'm messed up in the head. We gotta talk to Hifumi because he was on cleaning duty. Um, I'm looking for whoever's on cleaning duty. Hmm. Cleaning duty? As a matter of fact, that's me. Why do you ask? It just so happens Monokuma talked to me yesterday and asked me to take care of it. Without someone on cleaning duty, the school would be flooded with trash in no time. So I formally applied for the position. I was going to start this morning, but after what happened, I haven't had a chance to get started. And since you're on cleaning duty, you can open the gate in the front of the trash room? Of course! It's my job to gather up all the garbage and toss it in that trash room. And to do that, they gave me the key for the trash room gate. Mm -hmm. But we're supposed to rotate once a week, so eventually you'll be in charge. Very strange. Wait, hold on. You need a key to get in the trash room, and only the person on cleaning duty has access to the key? What's the point of going through all that trouble? 
Why not just leave the trash room open all the time so we can throw things whenever we want? That does seem more convenient. So in other Actually, words... anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. Oh, so that so gives you a chance to hide the evidence. That must be why. If anyone can go in and out of the trash room whenever they wanted, then destroying evidence would be easy. The thrill would disappear and things would become boring. Boring? Hey, listen. Anyway, more important than that. Hey, you bastard. Hey, fatty. Why'd you want the cleaning duty gig anyway? Oh. I just um... decided to volunteer for something I knew no one else would want to do. What's the big deal? You. Wait, why does Leon have blood on his shirts? Liar. I know why you did it. Is it? Like... You want to dig through all the girls' trash looking for, you know, and poking around at it. Is yeah, that blood no on Leon's shirt? About... You know what but I there's mean. all kinds of trash diggers like that. Maybe you'll get tired of 2D and then turn to... I would never get tired of 2D! Okay, you know what? Let me skip this, because I actually have a theory. Okay, so Hifumi and I are gonna go to the trash room right now. Yes. Maybe we're gonna get some evidence. But yeah, there was like blood on Leon's shirts. You'd like me to open the gate, wouldn't you? Well, <laughs> you know, when I look at it, it makes me think. They said he killed his wife. He learned how to get by on the inside, but he never stopped dreaming. Get busy living or get busy dying, he said. So him and Rita, they found themselves a way out. What is he talking about? Whatever, please just hurry up. <laughs> Okie dokie, leave it to me. Ifumi pulled the key out of his pocket and used it to flip the switch next to the gate. And then... There we go. Mr. However, Mr. Naegi, surely you aren't planning to use the trash room to destroy evidence, are you? You fiend, you planned this all along. No. I just want to see if the actual killer had tried to destroy any evidence or not. Hmm. But the actual hmm. killer is you, isn't it? You want to see hmm. if you left anything behind. Wait, maybe a parallel world? Whatever, let's just hurry up and keep looking. Okay, before we look, let me check something out. Truth bullets? Let me see Sayaka's message in blood. Does that say Leon? That says Leon upside down. Oh my god. Did we already figure it out? No. No way. No freaking way. Did I already solve the case before it began? This is the incinerator. It's way in the back part of the trash room. It's a good 30 feet from here to the gate. And it's on right now. Mm -hmm. Do you see the green and yellow buttons next to the mouth of the incinerator? Yes, it's indeed. It's a pretty simple setup. You press the green button to get it going and the yellow button to turn it off. Sooner or later, you'll be on cleaning duty, so make sure you learn this before you leave, okay? Huh? Someone turned the incinerator on! Very strange. I'm quite certain it was off last time I was down here. Perhaps it was the work of a fairy. Fumi, do you realize what you just said? Huh? The fairy? No, you just said that the last time you were here, the incinerator was off. Ah, yes, about that. There can be no mistake. If I've got one thing going for me, it's my memory. I feel Yesterday, as soon as I was appointed, I came down to check the place out. It definitely wasn't on then. I haven't been back to the trash room since then. And since I'm the only one who has the key to open the gate, it should be impossible for the incinerator to be on. And yet... So that means someone was able to switch on the incinerator without opening the gate. But how is that possible? Incinerator has been added to the truth bullets section of your handbook. Maybe the baseball guy, Leon, hit a ball or threw something like this. Look, he threw something. And then it hit the green thing. Because he's so good at baseball that he has that good hand-eye coordination. His aim is just on point. There are shards of broken glass scattered around in front of the incinerator. It looks like it's used to be some kind of glass ball. Just about big enough to fit in the palm of your hand. Oh my god, guys. Did I solve the case before it's even over? I'm, I'm a genius! Yeah! Is that... Do you know what this is? Mm -hmm. They say if you collect all seven, a dragon will appear and grant you a single wish. I like this guy. Mm. Um, kidding aside, it's the kind of thing you might see on any big city street corner. Gaze into it and it will show you a glimpse of the future. Just like that Mina girl who was on that quest to find that one guy. Wow. Okay, keep a note of that, Makoto. Yeah, I get what you're trying to say, but who did this particular ball belong to? There's only one person it could be. They should also be in the gym. I'd better go find out for sure. Shattered crystal ball has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Okay, there's something on the ground too. There's something on the ground in front of the incinerator. It looks like a burnt piece of something. It looks like the the collar part of the shirt. Or not collar, but um the wrist. Mm. A burnt piece, like a hunk? Like a hunk of burning love? No, dude, shut up. Anyway, this is... It looks like a piece of cloth, and the shape... 
It's part of the sleeve from a button-up shirt. And now that I look at it, that's definitely blood on the cuff, which means... This is all that's left from some of the evidence the killer destroyed. But there are lots of people here with white button-up shirts. This isn't enough by itself to figure out who the killer is. Yeah, but you just gotta find somebody who has like half of a sleeve from their shirt. Duh. This whole thing is quite strange mm. indeed. When I was here last night, the incinerator was off and those glass shards and burnt clothes weren't. What does it all mean, Mr. Naegi? Will you be confessing soon? Why me? Everyone already knows you did it. All the mysteries are being solved one by one! It sounds like he's living out one of his comic book fantasies. Okay, are we good? I think I'm good. I have a good guess who I think it is, but we just need to confirm it with a little bit more investigating. His name is Leon, right? Can we go inside of his room? As I place my hand on Leon's door, I notice a human-shaped blur coming tearing out of the depths of the hallway. Hey, you bastard. Hold up, hey! What the hell do you think you're doing? Huh? I mean, seriously? How does my room have anything to do with the investigation? Well, I suppose that's a natural reaction of someone trying to go in your room without permission. Not really. What if I go into Sakura's room? This is Sakura's room. I don't think there's anything that will help me. Yeah, Leon, huh? Kinda sus, bud. Kinda suspicious there, buddy. Let me talk to him one more time. Look, does that look like blood on the shirt? Well, no, it's part of the skull, but it looked like blood. Seems Something like... doesn't seem right. The Monokuma file said Sayaka was killed in your room. I just can't stop thinking about it. Could it be the nameplate? Yeah, look, 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 look. Look at his shirt. Seems like... Ah, come on. I can't look at it. All right, if I can't look at it, then I'm just going to go to the AV room, guys, and we're going to see what's on Sayaka's DVD. I sat down in front of the screen and put the DVD in that player. I pushed play, and the screen was dark for a few seconds, but then... An image slowly appeared. It looked like some kind of concert. And standing on stage, front and center, was a face I recognized all too well. Sayaka. She was there, along with a friend she said had been so important to her. She was positively glowing there in front of the crowd, so full of life. Seeing that image made it even harder to accept. Except that she was dead. My vision started to blur and darken, and then... The voice I'd come to despise so much began to float out of the speakers. Sayaka Maizono, the ultimate pop sensation, lead singer for a world-famous all-girl pop band. For these girls, the glowing spotlight only made them that much more beautiful. But then... But then... Dun, dun, dun. Suddenly, the screen went dark. And in the next moment, I saw something I could hardly believe. Oh. What the? Siaka had disappeared from the stage, which was now in ruins. But what I noticed even more than that was the figures of the other girls who had all simply collapsed. I think they're all dead. This ultra-successful team suddenly fell apart. None of them will ever perform a little bit. on stage again. None of them will ever feel the warmth of the spotlight for Sayaka. There's simply nowhere for her to return to. That's how you say her name, Sayaka? So Damn it. I'm gonna say Sayaka. Question. What a what I'm gonna say Sayaka now. Go Sayaka. Okay. Sayaka. Sayaka. Look for the answer after graduation. Sayaka. Without warning, the video cut off. Okay, guys, remember that. Sayaka. Well, what the hell? That wasn't real, right? They're a super famous pop group. Everyone knows who they are. Is he trying to say he was even able to get to them? If that really did happen, everyone in the outside world must be going crazy. What kind of person would take things this far? But you know what? If this is happening in this world, then aren't the police looking for all the people? Because Sayaka and Junka are dead. Wouldn't people be looking for them? I don't know, like, what is this world? Is this even real? Is this all a dream? I don't know. Like, are they actually in the real school? Or... Are they in a fake school and then they're not really dead in real life? I don't know. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Let's just make it to the gym because I have a feeling that it's Leon. But you know what? Maybe that's what this game wants us to think. That it's Leon, but it's not really him. I don't know. Games do that a lot. Like they lead you down one way and then boom! Twist your nipples and you just be like, oh, how did that even happen? Hey, hero, can I ask you something? Oh, uh, no, 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 no. I gotta get out of here. Gotta get out now. I've had enough. Gotta break free. Hero, snap out of it! Uh, um, uh huh? Huh, Makoto, what are you doing here? What? Hey, um, does this look familiar? Ah! That's my crystal ball! 
but it's all smashed. What the hell? What the heck? I only bought it because the guy said it was blessed. He said it was unbreakable. So how did it break? Was it actually just made of glass and not crystal? Did that guy totally dupe me? He said it belonged to the pillars of history. Genghis Khan, George Washington, Napoleon. He said whoever controlled that crystal ball controlled the world. Was that seriously all BS? Um, let's put that aside for now. So you can say without a doubt that this belonged to you? Yeah, that's mine for sure. I probably forgot it in the laundry room last night. Someone must have come by and snatched it. You left it in the laundry room. That means anyone could have found it and taken it. Shattered Crystal Ball has been updated in the Truth Bullet section of your handbook. Thanks, Hero. That's all I wanted to know. Uh, uh. Sure. Um, by the way, I'm almost afraid to ask, but how much did you pay for that thing? Uh. Everything I saved up from fortune telling for two full years came out to be like a million. A million? That's pretty cheap, actually. I mean, considering it gives you the power to control the world. That's just too, too stupid. I can't even feel bad for him. Uh-oh, ding dong, bing bong. That means it's nighttime, um, and then I gotta end so, the investigation uh, now. I'm getting tired of waiting. What say we just get started, hmm? It's time for the long-awaited class what? trial! But wait, 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 I barely investigated! Now then, allow me to appoint a proper location for the proceedings. Please go through the red door on the first floor of Bro, the school. Bro, I'm not prepared. It's kind of like a test coming up. I didn't study hard enough. <laughs> See you soon. Oh, bro. The red door on the first floor. That's where I should go. No, where I have to go. Aw, oh, man. Okay, guys. Well, we're about to start the class trial right now. I am going to end this episode here. If you guys want to see the next episode ASAP, I'm telling you guys, 50,000 likes, and I will drop the next episode right there and then. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude.